Hi everyone, Lewis here, and in this video I'm going to discuss why I changed my logo, and it's a good reason why, as this is also considered a special episode of Autism Talk. If you like this video, please hit the like button, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Because of controversy over the years of puzzle pieces and of course their association with Autism Speaks and the fact I had been pondering on whether I should change my logo or not, I had discovered that the infinity sign, both gold and rainbow, represent autism more appropriately than the puzzle pieces did. And of course, the reason why I said there's a controversy, though I'm not going to get too much into it, is because I read that autistic people are easily offended by puzzle pieces. And of course, autism speaks and how they don't support people on the spectrum. In my opinion, autism is something that cannot be helped. Of course, it can be helped, but just not the way you think it. It's something that cannot be cured. It's something that people are, are born with or develop in their lives. And it's not based on controversies such as vaccines, etc. It just happens. And of course, I kind of am, I found the use of puzzle pieces offending over time. And of course, the rainbow infinity also represents neurodivergence, see, which of course, my friend Jesse Fredlin, who of course, on Twitch, she's called Kiai Hime 94, even likes the idea that I changed my logo and of course I also have her to thank for suggesting and inspiring this logo change. I'll be sure to post the links to to our channel both YouTube and Twitch and other content relating to her in the description below. Now, when I redesigned my logo, I kind of wanted it to be similar to my old one using unown, both L and A. The original logo was made by my friend Brom Turk, who I also thank for designing this. But of course, because it's been years since I changed my logo, I also thought it was also time to, to change the logo because of what I stated inappropriate representation of autism and because I thought I'd refresh my channel with a new logo and a new banner and credits to Jono Plays for helping me improve my banner for my channel that I made so of course the first version of my current banner just didn't work out because people would assume that they're just eyeballs and not unknown. But Jonah was smart enough to make them more pop out. I meant to say pop out more and even make them look shiny, which of course shiny unknown in the Pokemon franchise is blue. And of course, I approve of what Jono did because he did volunteer to help me and I will also post the links to Jono's YouTube channel on here as well and of course I thank Jono for the improvements to my channel banner thanks for watching everyone you can also follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook Twitch and TikTok and remember for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out 
wear a mask in public indoor settings, whether it be N95, KN95, or double masking. Practice social distancing. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Wash your hands. Most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted. And of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.